Hello everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. In today's MT Predictor video, I'd like to have a look at some of the more advanced tools in the MT Predictor software, in particular our Elliott Wave uh, tools. But as usual, we have to start with our risk disclaimer and remind you that all examples in these videos should be considered as hypothetical. No trades are actually taken, they're just shown for illustration and training purposes only. Remind you there's a risk of loss in trading and investing. Put another way, all professional traders know and understand but more importantly accept that losses can and will and do unfold. That's an important point is that always will be losing trades no matter what approach you use to the markets. Right in today's uh, video I'd like to have a look at a three minute chart of the bank nifty um, over there in India but you can use any time frame uh, you wish and I'd like in particular to have a look at the rally that uh, unfolded up into the high. Can you see that? The rally that unfolded into the high. Uh, the Elliott Wave tools we have in our software, they come in two uh, forms. First of all, there's a tool where you can uh, right mouse click over a pivot, then do Elliott Wave in either minor, intermediate or major. The intermediate degree is the normal one because that's the degree of pivots you automatically see on the chart. So if I do Elliott Wave intermediate here, can you see how it found a Wave 5 high up into that uh, high there? One thing we know about a wave five, and this is a, a trade setup you can, a more manual trade setup or advanced trade setup you can use if you're more experienced, is that once a wave five high is complete, the market will normally retrace back into the wave four of lesser degree. So if we go back to here, right mouse click on the wave four and do decision point, this will be the area where the market is likely to go to uh, if that wave five high is complete. So now if I right mouse click and do risk reward here, this is a manual risk reward tool. It then requires uh, you to click on the entry bar, which would be that red cell bar that unfolded at the typical wave 5 WPT. You now select the stop bar, which actually would be the same bar in this case because that's the red bar there. You then have to, whoops, I, I, <coughs> I uh, clicked in the wrong place there to risk reward. So again, you do on the, the entry bar next click on the uh, stop bar which would be in this case the same bar now you do the target price which would be down at this first target here and as you can see this would have been a nice trade where the market came down and would have uh, returned a nice profit of approximately 4.3 R if this uh, low or if this DP is exceeded then the market will normally retrace the entire prior five wave sequence you go back to the start of the sequence which is here right mouse click and do decision point. This would be the area of where the market would be likely to go to or the next target. If I take this across, you can see this actually nailed the low very nicely. So if I drag this down, the next profit target would be down here around, well, almost nine hour profit. So are there any reasons why we think that the market might go beyond this and down to this level here? Well, there is in our MTP trend. This is our oscillator we have down here. Can you see we have two grey lines on this? These are called strength bands. So if the market uh, oscillator is beyond the strength band when you get to your target, so when the market reached here, if we come down, if this MTP trend indicator is beyond its strength band, which it was here, the market is deemed strong and therefore is likely to continue into the next target. And you can see that's exactly what it was suggesting here, suggesting this decline was strong and the market may well decline. So rather than looking to come out of the first target you could then look to the uh, additional target here. Now that's all and well and good I can hear you all say but what about trying to have a look in advance in other words trying to project areas in advance of where these levels might uh, unfold. I'll just use our training mode now and perhaps jump back to here somewhere and you can say right I'm a, an experienced Elite Wave uh, practitioner and I can place these accounts on the chart manually so what you can do now is you can use our WPT tool or our wave price target tool either up or down. In this case we're going to do it up. We're going to look for the end of a wave 5. So it shows you how many clicks you should make. And also you have the tool tip here. So you click at the beginning of wave 1, the end of wave 1, the end of wave 2, the end of wave 3 the end of wave 4 and now you can see that these levels are on the chart in advance. So you are there ready in advance before the market even gets there. So as you can see as it starts to go up it goes through the minimum. Remember we're not looking at automatic setups in our in this particular video. 
we then go up to the typical wave 5 WPT and you can see that's where it made the red cell bar. So you had this level on the chart in advance. At this point you can actually clear the chart off then you can do your right mouse click do elite wave intermediate just to double check that it is uh, finding that and as you can see that's finding that as well. So this is where you'd place your decision point on. Now if you do your risk to reward in around that bar down to the first target that would be the level of where your uh, first target would be and as we've seen if that was exceeded you go back to the start of the sequence do decision point down here and this would be the level of your next target which you can see would be approximately well, approximately 8.9 or 9R. So this is a trade setup that the more experienced users uh, among you can actually consider. But there's a big word of warning I have to stay, say here is because trying to catch the end of a wave 5 is what we call a trend termination setup. In other words, you're trying to catch the end of an impulsive trend. Now that's very, very difficult and very dangerous to do. So the only time you should even consider this is, well, first of all, if you're an experienced trader, but if there are other reasons why there might be a high in this particular case or a trend uh, might be terminating in this level. So if I clear everything off, I'll exit bar replay and for this we then go to our higher time frame chart. So this is something we do with all our kind of trade setups. So if I go out to um, basically the 15 minute chart, I'll just clear everything off here. You can see that we had a major high back here. So you right mouse click. In fact, I'll actually do it uh, before with the trading mode before today even opened. So I'll go back to there just to show you that you right mouse click here, do decision point. Whoops, missed that. Again, my mouse is not working very well today. Do a decision point, and that gives you an area of potential resistance on the chart in advance. So if I turn trading mode off, can you see how the market today went up into that level? So it was at higher time frame resistance. Now, if we go back down to our shorter time frame chart, can you see how our five wave sequence looks a lot more attractive? Where if I right mouse click here, do our Elliott Wave Intermediate, can you see how this Wave 5 high was now not only <clears throat> at a nice uh, clear 5 wave sequence with the high right of the typical Wave 5 WPT, but also was at higher time frame resistance. I mean in reality if you were trading this you may well have actually had an attempt here at an automatic setup that unfolded here. If I just right mouse click do analysis that was a VS setup that came in at the minimum Wave 5 WPT that would have actually been a losing trade. So as I said at the start of the video, in the risk disclaimer, there always will be losing trades. But uh, what we're concentrating on here is the Elliott Wave tools and in particular finding our Elliott Wave patterns on pivots at the time and also our WPT tool to be able to project these in advance. Remember once a completed five wave sequence is complete, then the initial target is the DP for the prior wave four. If that's exceeded, which it is likely to be if our MTP trend is strong. Then you go back to the start of the sequence <coughs> and place the DP on from the start of the sequence, which is right at the start there, and that would be your next target. So as you can see here, placing the manual risk reward on in around that red cell bar down into the lower target, that would be a very nice trade setup there today. We also have the Elliott waves in our scanner. If I look at the scanner here, in fact I'll just drag this across a bit. Whoops my mouse again, sorry about that. Sorry, I can't get my mouse to work very well today. If I drag this across, you can see we have the edit waves in our scanner there as well. But remember, we're not using this 100% of the time because we know that markets go in cycles. Basically, what we're looking to do is when it makes sense and everything comes together, which it did in this example. And as you can see, that would have allowed you to um, catch the very bar of the high of the day and do a very nice trade <clears throat> into pretty much uh, uh, the low of the day there as well. But the important thing was this five wave sequence unfolded at higher time frame resistance. So if you're a more experienced MT predictor customer and you're familiar with Elliott waves, you have the ability to place uh, Elliott wave counts on the charts uh, manually by right mouse click Elliott wave intermediate over the pivot or you can use our WP tool to project the uh, wave price targets or the areas where these uh, different waves are likely to end on the chart in advance. So some more uh, advanced, so some advanced tools for the more experienced customers among you. As you can see, MT Predictor is not just a black box system where we just find uh, we just have automatic setups we blindly follow. It is a toolbox for the more experienced user as well.